Good morning, March 26th. It is currently 3.30 in the morning. Early, I did not want to get up this morning, not one bit, but it's time to go tractor trailer trucking. So, here uh, a new parking spot and uh, just got the truck washed and now I'm gonna have to drive on wet concrete. Oh well, at least it's not raining, raining, but uh, yeah, got a load going up to Terre Haute, Indiana, not too far, only about 250 miles. Beautiful. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Watch my, watch my last video to see. Uh, I got double brokered twice in the same day, and this is the second double brokered load but I talked to the actual broker on it, so we'll get paid, hopefully. Oh. All right, let's get moving. Decently clean for driving in some rain after that that old truck wash yesterday. I threw some tire wax on there. Oh, man, I'm really hoping this would stay shiny. Hi. <sighs> All right, still there. Still there. Man, this wind, I tell you what, has made for an interesting drive. I went pretty slow. Well, on the way. The way north up to Indy, I went up, I went decently fast, like 62. Jeez, bro. But then once I got to uh, to where you call it, here, or no, 70 eastbound, and it was a side wind, I was only going about a 55, because, you know, no reason to go faster. And, uh, bruh, I don't know what I was gonna say. I'm kind of tired. I couldn't find my caffeine pills while I was driving. I was like, man, where are my caffeine pills? I think they may be in my pickup truck or something. So she said 13, it's down yonder. Oh, I didn't bring my, uh, didn't bring my GoPro. Didn't bring my GoPro, how unfortunate. She said, be patient though, because both of the forklifts are going on break. She gets 10 minutes, then he gets 10 minutes. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, okay, I don't know why that matters, but whatever. As far as like, why, why can't he start after his 10 minute break? It's right there. I'm gonna probably, yeah, I'm gonna do a U-turn up here because I never blindside unless I absolutely have to, which I almost never absolutely have to. In the beginning, like I would have just tried to do that dock blindside, but it's just not worth it. You might as well just come over here, make a U-turn. Many places do it. And you gotta think like, if you're a beginner and you're pretty bad at backing in, you're gonna have a hard time, but it's possible. And you gotta think once you get even a little bit better and a little more confident, like if you pass the CDL test first try, you're pretty good at backing. So there's people though that are not, and they make it into some of these places. It may take them 30 minutes, but they they get in here, you know? So that's what I always kind of tell myself. And uh, not too bad. A little tight here, Not nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. So mine's right there. When I don't have a lot of wiggle room side to side, I like to get the trailer at an angle. It's kind of hard to describe. Shoot. <laughs> I was like, what in the world? There's a train right there. <laughs> that freaked me out. Anyway, what I was saying is, when you don't have a lot of side to side room, like on that side or this side, you get your trailer kind of cockeyed like that. I don't think you can hear me, but get it kind of cockeyed like that and just keep your wheels straight on the semi. And then 
just start backing in. You can see it's tracking by itself. I'm not even. I didn't have to do anything to get it to turn. I'm gonna have to. It was a little too aggressive. Um, wasn't watching, but kind of watch the wheels there. Cut in, go back out, give it a little less angle. They put those stupid concrete blocks on that side. I don't understand that. I guess to stay off their grass. That's fine. At least they have a some room to pull up here but yeah sometimes you get the trailer just kind of off and just go f pretty far ahead and uh, get the trailer kind of off your side a little bit and as you just straight back the trailer naturally starts pulling that way I've had to use that when I back in on off of uh, streets you know like a streets not very wide and uh, so I've had to use that before on that which is kind of a I don't want to say like trick, but it's just a skill. I don't know. Could come in handy though, so let me know if you ever use it. If you are backing in to anything. This dock is not super wide. Anyway, I'll catch you uh, in a second. I'm going to slide my tandems once I get lined up. I don't understand why these places have lines on the ground that don't correspond correctly. <laughs> it's like they're made for a eight foot wide trailer only or something but i'm not super in a hurry because they said i'm gonna have to wait anyway and yep all right let's get this tandem slid there we are all empty it was pretty it was quickish i was laying down trying to sleep so i didn't really mind didn't really get to um but yeah now i'm gonna be headed out and uh, give me some food. I gotta go over to Indy. Uh, I have a reload going from Indianapolis to Evansville, or Elberfeld, like north of Evansville. It's Pepsi. So, um, it's not picking up till 6 p.m. though, and I have to scan my son's documents, like, at drill, at, like my, my military base that I drill at. So I'll have to pull the truck in. Hopefully they'll let me in for the semi. And uh, then scan the documents and probably take a nap until 6 p.m. to get whatever. I don't know. We'll see. It's not as cold now. I think it's warmed up. I was just cold earlier. So I get cold when I, uh, I'm a little tired. I don't know about y'all. Let's push this door. Ugh. Make sure there's nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Man, that train earlier, that was kind of, it's kind of funky. <laughs> I have like this weird fear that I'll get hit by a train while, uh, usually it's while I'm sleeping. Like if I were to sleep here overnight and then that train went by, I would kind of, I don't know, something about it, like I kind of get these fears that I didn't park far enough away from a railroad. I don't know. I've done it before. It, it all stems, I think, from one time. I parked kind of next to what I thought was a out of service um, railroad and it was not out of service. It was very much in service. I think that's where it all stems from because I, uh, woke up because like trail railroad was like that and I was like kind of right next to it and it was wow and it freaked me out anyway don't be like me kids don't park too close we make sure my logs look good because there's a way station I might bypass it because there's a little country road I could take Let's see at any rate I'm gonna get headed out um, over to Indy to get my papers done and then hang out Wait for the uh, Pepsi load.
take it up to 96. Maybe they can get me early. Kind of doubt it. If anything, they may end up taking like eight hours. They take forever at some of these Pepsi places. I'm here in um, uh, Lawrence, Indiana. I got some good fuel price, so um, yeah, I'm gonna get me some fuel. It's like 350, 353 or something, Indiana. So that means before IFTA, it's like 299 or three, something like that. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna get very much because if you saw, I got fuel yesterday. I just didn't fill up because a guy came behind me and he was being, being very impatient. So, and I've got all the time in the world, so I'm just gonna get some fuel, top it off. Then I can put it in my app because I only put it in my app whenever I actually fill up, fill up. So let's see how much I get and see if they got some food here. Okay, uh, well, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I was gonna go in and get my receipt and this dude walked in. He had his hand kind of tucked and I was like, what? And I looked and it was like a magazine, but one of those drum magazines, like for a pistol. And it had rounds in it, like bullets. And I was like, uh, no thanks. I'm not walking in there. So he went up to the cash register. I don't know if he was like, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, I'm gonna get maybe offside a little and then calculate my MPGs and all that. Uh, weird. Just weird. Five and a half hours early, you think they're gonna take me? Or not five and a half, um, four and a half hours early. That's not that bad, I can I can waste four and a half hours. If they do make me come right before, or four hours, you know. Anyway, um, I got a few things I need to do to the truck in case they do tell me now. Except I think it's about to start raining. It looks very, <laughs> very stormy here. I don't know if we can zoom in on this. Nope, nope, nope. Can you see the sky? No, you can't. But it's still real windy. All right, well, this guy in front of me is pulling out. So let me get into the first position and see what they say. See if they say go away or hang out or we'll give you a call or what they'll say. Anyway, see you in a sec. All right, pretty well as I suspected, he's like, ah, I can't take you this early, man. You got to come back at 4.30. So I got to set an alarm for about two hours and 40 minutes. So, in two hours and 40 minutes, I'll go check back in. But for now, I'm gonna go, hopefully, take a nap. Oh. All right, check back in, door 163. Um, we are, we're right here. We need to go around, back around, and it's right there. Give you a little map. Oh man. But will they start on me? Probably not. So I'll go back to sleep. But at least I'll be on the door I need to be on. I'll probably uh, sweep the trailer and maybe blow it out. Maybe I'll do that. Well, not, not right. Not right now. I'll get over there, make sure that door exists. And uh, yeah, make sure it's clean because I got all this time. Why not? I should have done it earlier, but I was kind of tired. 
So yeah, I'll whip her UE around here and uh, get on over there. Get into this one. Shouldn't have a CDL. <laughs> Boom! 163. Let's get in there. All right. I don't know why some docks are farther, farther apart than others. You know, like, what's there? What's the point? I don't know. But I'm gonna sweep and then once I'm done sweeping, I'll have all this stuff right here. On the I'll have all the stuff in there in the corner. And then uh, I'll use the leaf blower just to blow out the dust. And it's 7.30 right now. I don't know why. Or 8.30. What? Yeah, 8.30. Appointment was at 6. I got on the dock at 4.30. <laughs> what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? It's just kind of annoying that this is part of the industry. It's just waiting, you know. Almost as a formality because I'm sure they probably had everything ready. Whatever. They've been, they've gone in the truck like 40 times, I feel like. They had to put some wrong stuff in there. Had to. Anyway, hopefully uh, they get me done soon. We'll see. All right. Man. Right on the money. Like four hours but of course they'll probably not give me that next hour all right uh 10.01 awful four hours five or six how long have we been here four six five six eight hours i get it turn right only four then hours since my appointment right. Dude, shut up i'm a little on edge kind of mad at the at everything I couldn't really sleep you know what I mean like I couldn't fall asleep so I kind of just kind of just wasted time but um anyway they better show me is uh having gotten out at the gate time which will be 10.02 or whatever and not that they got me out at two minutes before or whatever I don't know anyway is what it is. Hopefully I can get a little detention, like 25 bucks or something at least for waiting there for so dang long, but we will see, kind of unlikely. Anyway, all three on the time lapse. drive i'm just tired of being awake so uh, it's gonna do it that's gonna do it and that's gonna be all for this one i'll show you in the morning getting unloaded and if i get any more freight book for tomorrow i don't know how it feels like a friday already i'm kind of just ready to ready to be home anyway just want to recap so i booked that load um picking up picked up yesterday Evansville going to Richmond, Indiana. That paid a thousand, um, and that was that was over four dollars a mile. And then um, that was after I deadheaded to fifty miles, and then fifty miles back from to Washington to the scam load, the first scam load. And then I got a load. Hmm. Easy at a plain field. Indianapolis area today, um, going down to Elberfeld, Indiana, where I'm at now, 
and that one paid 500 never doing it again for 500 i was on site for like eight hours i was on the dock for four um yeah i'm not doing that for 500 ever again i'll probably sooner just dead head back than go through that headache it's it's really not worth it it's not worth it i'd rather be home ready to rock and roll with a different load in the morning or just take something to louisville even but not 500 to here i don't know oh well um you live and you learn but for right now including all miles once i get home i'll be at 250 a mile all miles for this week including the deadhead so yeah we'll be pretty good if i just were to end it there but obviously it's not that much money it's only gonna be like 1200 dollars profit and then you know after taxes it's like 800 bucks you can't can't just work for 800 bucks so I'll be looking for more stuff to do this week. Um, it's just, I just make bad decisions when I'm desperate though. So I try to get on top of stuff and talk to people. And it's just, everybody's low on freight right now. So it's hard to, hard to get anything to work. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.